going on, guys? And welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we made it up to the moon only to get consumed by the moon. And this is why I recommended to have every possible thing you could do in the game, like all masks, all items, all that. Like, um, it's best to do that now. Now, there are two options you can we can do as of this moment. We can either A, just go straight to Majora and fight him, or B, uh, uh, we can see what the draw distance. Um, we can uh, do these kids, these children in any order. We can basically give them mass, and we get a mask. We get the final mass in the process. But first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, try to do some chronological order. So we're gonna speak to the kid with the Dawa's remains. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Mass, you have a lot. We need to be a mask salesman. Then I'll play with you the same. So the mask, give me some. We have to give him some of our mass. So let's uh, I would suggest in this point. Do the mass in order from, like, what Delisha is with. Like, don't give him the bunny hood, because you'll need that. But, like, um, we can just get, we can get rid of the Great Fairy's mask, because we don't need that anymore. And we don't need the, uh, we don't need the Bremen mask. Like, those are examples of stuff we don't need anymore. Thanks. You're, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek, let's play. All right, I'll hide. Oh, I forgot it's one mask with the old Dawa kid. Now, uh, this layout is going to model Woodfall, and, uh, if you're- if you want to get the heart pieces, you have to go do these mini-aims. This isn't actually the finale- this actually, uh, actually I'll make this the finale, but, uh, I'll make this a big finale. It'll be a long video, but it'll be a big finale. It'll be a way to close out this playthrough. Even if the video turns out to be, like, 40 minutes. But, like, uh, yeah, basically... There's going to be, like, graphical redesigns of, like, the first four temples. And you want to, uh... You want to not... Alright. Not fall down like that. Anyway, so, uh... Yeah, every time you fail at one of these, it just sends you back to the beginning. It's not... These are, this one isn't really too hard, but there's one I'm not really looking forward to. It's the one with Goat's Remains. You'll see why, and you'll know why if you've played this game before. And, uh, one of the, the, uh, the one with Goat's Remains, I'll explain why later. It's also why I recommend getting Chateau Romani. Now, uh, you see that heart piece over there? Thankfully, no draw distance. And this is our, one of the final heart pieces we're going to be getting in this game. This is, uh, our first heart piece on the moon. The remaining four heart pieces are on the moon. I cannot express this clear enough. We don't, we, have, we aren't missing any heart pieces on Termina. You should have 19 hearts up to this point. Right here. Now, now that we're at the moon, I will say one thing. Majora's Mask is definitely one of the most unique Zelda games out there because this is a Zelda game with no Triforce, no Ganon, and no Zelda apart from one cameo at the beginning of the game. I think, in retrospect, like, I have trashed certain content creators for their takes on this game before in the past, but, like, at the same time, I now kind of acknowledge that what peop the same thing that people like about this game is the same thing that people don't like about this game. And then things that makes Majora's Mask kind of a niche thing. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. We're gonna give him the Bremen mask because we couldn't before. And hey, thanks, that's nice. Um, can I ask a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? Or do these people think of you as a friend? And so we got the first, uh, you kid know, yeah. What makes Majora's Mask kind of a niche thing is that it's one of the most unique Zelda games in the franchise. But, like, um, I will say, though, some, Maj some Majora's Mask criticism, I think, can come off as hypocritical. Like, because, like, they criticize this game for being all side quests, but at the same time, so is Breath of the Wild. And I've heard people, pr the same people praise that game for that. I don't know. Um, I think, is that Gilt's Remains? That's Gjord's Remains. Georg's remains. We're gonna talk to him with goat's remains. That is, uh, yeah, it's goat's remains. 
All right, so we're gonna give him the uh, we're gonna give um the all night mask. We don't need that anymore. We're gonna give him the keton mask. Thanks. You you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. All right, I'll hide. This part right here. This is why I recommended having Chateau Romani. Because we're gonna need to do some Goron rolling. We're gonna need to do some Goron rolling. Now, uh... My tip for this area is to just keep yourself in a straight line once you get- once you're going fast. Just, like, go fast and let go of the control- Not- not- I let go of the control stick too early to demonstrate, but, um... Once you're once you're rolling into a ball, I would suggest like uh, once you jump, I would suggest letting go of the control stick, like this. Just hold the A button. Piece first. We got a steer. Wait, am I actually gonna do this in one try? No fucking way. I did this in one try! I expected it to take at least 20 minutes on this. But anyway, we got the heart piece. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, uh, we just need to, uh, go in a straight line. Am I seriously gonna do this without falling off? I've never, I don't think that's ever happened to me before. We need to stay in a straight line. If I screw up, it'll be because of my own stupidity. Oh, almost! But yeah, this is gonna be easier now that we have the heart piece. I, I really can't believe I got that heart piece in one try, because in most playthroughs I do with this game, it takes me at least like 20 minutes to get that heart piece. But like, I'm speechless. I did that in one try. <laughs> struggle to do the main part because I got the heart piece in one try. You just gotta angle yourself correctly. Like getting going in going out of this area normally is not that hard, it's just the heart piece. Just let go of the control stick. And not fall like that. I'm I'm <laughs> I love this. I'm struggling I'm struggling to do the main portion of this, except I got the heart piece in one try. Now, don't go in that blue thing because that takes you back to the moon, and I'm not entirely sure if you can talk to the kid again. Alright. I might just start cutting footage if I keep failing. I keep failing at the normal part. Speechlessness of getting that heart piece in one try, then I'm now struggling at the main portion of this. Because the main portion of this is not is not that hard, it's just getting the heart piece. Oh shit. Now if you take these portals right here, they'll just send you back to the beginning. And I had no choice but to either take the portal or fall back down. I am seriously struggling at the main portion of this. Is that my punishment for getting the heart piece in one try? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, just get it, get out of that one right there. Now stop at this bridge if you're doing the main portion. They give you magic along the way, but like uh. Now that's a portal, don't take that. Shit, I gotta, uh, I gotta line myself up better. 
Now I gotta do. I gotta go the closest I can without falling in the portal. All right, there we go. And that did not take as long as I expected it to. We're gonna stick to the kid with goat's remains. We're going to want more masks. We're gonna give him the. Uh, we're gonna give him the mask of sense. We're gonna give him the Don Hero's mask. We don't need those anymore. More. <laughs> Thanks, you're nice. Can I ask a question? You, what makes you happy? I wonder what makes you happy. Does it make others happy too? Now, I am going to cheat for this next portion. The kid with goat with uh with uh with uh Georg's remains. I am gonna use a guide because I don't. Ex I'm never good at remembering the order, and that takes you to get the heart piece. And we do want to get that heart piece for that 100%. And uh, that's the kid wearing twin mold remains. I can tell even with the draw distance. We have find the kid wearing Georg's remains. Not Georg. Yeah, Georg. Yeah, Georg's remains. This and then I'll be. That'll be twin. This is twin mold remains. Yeah, nice weather, isn't it? Mass, you have a lot. You too. Will you be a mass salesman? Then I'll play with you. So the mask gave me some. We're gonna give him the uh We're gonna give him the stone mask. We're gonna give him the captain's hat, and we're gonna give him the giant's mask. More. More. Hmm, so you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek, let's play. Alright, I'll hide. I should also point out that according to this guide right here. The order you take to get the heart piece depends on which version you're playing. In the N64 version, apparently, it says, uh, it says left, left, right, left. But if you're playing the 3DS version, it's left, right, middle. I've never played the 3DS version, so I can't confirm nor deny that. But yeah, we're gonna go left, left, right. We're gonna go, uh, left, left, right, left. Left. Le no, I didn't mean to go right. Now I don't care where I'm going. If you get this wrong, it just takes you back to the beginning. Because there'll be a heart piece behind a particular path. So yeah, I just failed at basic. Uh... Now I, I'm not, I don't exactly remember the order. I know I now remember the order to get the heart piece, but like the order and everything else, I'm just basically got. I think it's left. I think it's left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, and that's the heart piece. And we got our third heart piece. Now I'm gonna figure out what that uh what that normal pattern is. I think it's left, right, left, right, but I could be wrong. Maybe there'll be some cutting involved, but maybe there won't make because maybe I'll just because eventually I'll just give I'll just give in and look up a guide. But I think it's left, right, left, right. I don't know what it is in the 3DS version, but uh Yeah, it's left, right, left, right. You want to get that heart piece? Make sure you follow what I just did. You found me. Hey, I want more masks, so we're gonna give him the uh, we're gonna, we're gonna give him the cafe mask. We're gonna give him the circus leader's mask. We're gonna give him the Romani's mask. More. More. Heh heh. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Um, can I ask a question? The right thing, what is it? I wonder, if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? Now. Now, finally, we are going to speak to the kid wearing Twin Mold Remains. And the kid wearing Twin Mold Remains is why I recommend having Bomb Chews before going into this. And you will see why we get to the kid with Twin Mold Remains. It's more of a boss montage. Or a fight montage. Anyway, so we're going to talk to the kid wearing Twin Mold Remains. Ah, oh, nice weather, isn't it? Mass, you have a lot. You do too. Will you be a mass salesman? Then I'll play with you. So the mask, give me some. We're gonna give him the uh we're giving him the blast mask. 
Actually, we're not giving him the blast mask. We're gonna give him the postman's hat, the mask of truth, the and the girl's mask. More. 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 You can do this in any order, but I further in chronological order. We're gonna give him the Camaro's mask. You, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek, let's play. Alright, I'll hide. Lady, this is the last of the, uh, this is the last of the area. Now we're gonna get our great fairy sword. We're just gonna get ourselves prepared. Well, if he hits, he takes with a great fair throw. I probably wondered this back in the Clown of Canyon. He takes one hit! God, I love the great fair throw. We're gonna, even, we're gonna get an even more powerful sword as a result of this. But we're gonna put this away. See if we can't use our shield quite yet. Now, uh, is this the room I'm thinking of? We're just gonna use a normal sword. If we can get him out of the way. Nope. Just get him uh No. I'm not gonna use the Great Bear Sword because how long it took to fight him. Uh, I'll just finish him off right here. Actually that didn't finish him off. That finished him off, yeah. I think we need the hook shot. Yeah, we're gonna need the hook shot. Wait, Dake me we need a hook shot. Now if we get if we go here um even if you never bought the arrows, you still get a bundle of them. Now, uh, there's no heart piece right there. The heart piece is in the very last room. It's... See how many hits he takes with the Great Fairy Sword? All right, he was easy. I think this right here is the room where we're gonna. I think they gave us some bomb twos, but I this I still recommended buying some because uh, we need to find a way to get that wall up there. If we the more bomb twos we have, the better off we are we are with this. So uh, we're gonna time it. Uh, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go about now. And I did that one try, holy shit. And I think they give us bomb chews right here. Yes, they do. So even if you never bought some, you can still just get some right here. And this is the heart piece. We now, ladies and gentlemen, we now have every possible heart in this game. We have now, we have almost officially 100% this. We still need to get that uh, bomb chew up there, so I'm gonna go now. We did that one try once again. So why, we, why did I even bother buying the bomb chews? I'm kind of asking. I don't care if I use the fire arrows. We don't need, like, we don't have, sh we have Chateau Romani. We even better than the fire arrows and the light arrows combined. However, I am going to switch to the light arrows for a bit. Actually, there's no point now because we have to give them masks. We're gonna get, we're gonna, we're just gonna give them all our main masks. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. So we're gonna give them the uh, blast mask, the bunny hood, and the Gibdo mask. I decided to save a very special mask for last, even though we could have given the couple's mask right away. Or, 
And now we're gonna give him the couple's mask. This is to, all of this is to get a mask because you could just as well go straight to Majora, but I will explain why it might be more beneficial to go straight to Majora. If you don't have all the masks in the game up to this point, just go straight to Majora, even though you'll get a worse ending. We are going to gear up for the final battle, bring out the light arrows, we're going to, let's just, uh, we're going to get out the light arrows, we're going to get out the, uh, Ocarina, we're going to get out the Great Fairy Sword. It's like, the game design doesn't intend you to get this mask we use to, final, to fight the final boss. I'm going to show it off as a bonus video that I'm going to record right after I finish the game. So, uh... Yeah. Everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? Yes. You don't have any masks left, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. And we got the Fierce Deities mask. This is the, could this mask dark powers be as bad as Majora's? Try it out and see. Are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you can run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? Now with the Fierce Deities mask, we can just take, we can insta-kill Majora, except I want to show that off as a bonus level. I do want to fight him legit, but there is kind of a fair warning I have, though. When it comes to Deku Goron and Zor mask, you cannot use them if you got the Fierce Deities mask. The game designers intend you to use the Fierce Deities mask at this point of the game. I'm going to fight him normally, and I'm going to fight him with the Fierce Deities mask as a bonus video. Normally shouldn't be too bad now that we have Chateau Romani. I'm just more concerned about running out of arrows. Because light arrows are great for this point in the game. Majora's Mask. What is the what the game is named after? Now uh You kinda wanna hit him from the back. Now uh Here's how I fight him. I wait till he goes. I wait till he comes down toward me. He's gonna kind of spin down a bit, and then I just, I hit I hit him with the light arrows. But even if I miss him right here, I yep. You kind of hit him with arrows, except uh, and just hit him with the great fairy sword. He isn't really too hard. He can uh, he isn't really too hard. Like um. Eventually, he's gonna shoot a beam, which we will need the, uh... Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can hit him with the... Okay, we couldn't quite hit him yet. That we couldn't quite hit him. You can get an easy hit with the, uh, Great Fairy Sword if you, uh... If you, uh, what am I trying to say? If he comes down. Yeah, you kind of want to, um... Eventually, the second phase, he's gonna, um... Shoot a laser at you that you need to flex the mirror shield. But I would also suggest taking out the remains first. They each take two hits with the light arrows, I think. Yeah, e they, each of these remains, they take two hits with the light arrows. Get those remains out of the way first. There's Odawa's remains. And I did not intend the Dark Souls jump out of the way. Did I kill all the remains? No, I didn't. There's a. Uh, what's left is uh, Georg's remains. Now, I'm gonna, now that we got all the remains taken away, uh, we are going to uh, basically, uh, we're going to wait until he uh, a la fires a laser at us and we're going to deflect it with our mirror shield. Like this. Don't worry if, uh, you can, the bunny hood can make it easier to uh, deflect it to run towards them with a Goron mask, but like we can't use those yet. But if you deflect its magic against it, it counts as a hit. 
He sure. I think one more hit maybe should turn into his next form. He has a total of four different forms. We didn't quite hit him yet. You kind of want us to keep a distance from him. He should be able to fire a laser. Next form. Jura's Incarnation. Now, I will say, um, out of all the forms, I think this one is the easiest. And I say that as I immediately get hit. He just runs around and kind of shoots things at you. Except, uh... You can just, see, you can just get him in a uh, hitting loop like this. And just, uh... Just get him in a heading loop like this. If you get him in kind of a loop, he's not that hard. Now, meet the final form. This is the true form of Majora. This is Majora's Wrath. Now he's gonna throw a whip at you, I would suggest having a shield out. Except you can just hit him with a light arrow. Kind of, if you can get there in time, you can kind of, uh... Just shield and light arrow. Even if you, even if you can't quite hit, get him with your sword, uh... Like we could right there. Even if you can't quite get him with your sword, a light arrow should count. Much easier with the bunny hood like the other phases. He's a, yeah, whip him. Whip him. If you get whipped, uh, it takes a uh, half a heart or full health if you don't have the uh, upgrade. I think we have plenty of arrows. We need to throw these spinners out as a last resort. Just be a little careful. I think one more hit, he should be down. Gentlemen, we have beaten Majora's Mask.
Dawn of a new day. Aha, he's awake. You guys, you hadn't forgotten about me. You still thought of me as a friend. Did you? Did you save me? I thought they didn't want you to be friends with me. They hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> Could you be my friend too? He, you have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know, let's do something. Oh, so the evil has left the mask after all. Well now, I finally have it back. Since I'm in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a party is sure to follow. However, the party need not last forever. Whether a party be forever or merely a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me. There's the Mario mask, if you look in the background. But my, you sure have managed to make a number of people happy. The masks who are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, is it almost time for the carnival to begin? So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Link. Thank you. And now with that, Link has officially left Termina. Now, that was The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I really enjoyed making this playthrough. And like, um, I really like I enjoyed getting to share my love this game. Now let's talk about the giant elephant in the room. It's now been confirmed that Link left Hyrule in search for Navi, only to get sidetracked into the events of this game. And now Link has officially left Termina. It's a really dark tale in, in, with the connection between the two games, because like, in Ocarina of Time, Navi was only assigned to assist Link until his journey was complete, because he was not a Kakiri, he was a Hylian. And now that basically Link has done this other stuff in uh, Termina, he do his services are basically no longer needed, so he continues his search for Navi, only to end up never finding her in the afternoon. It's a really dark aftermath of what happened to this the Link in Ocarina of Time. I really like how the t how the the 
two games, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, really connect with each other. Because, like, Majora's Mask is a sequel to Young Link after he gets sent back. It's not really a sequel to Majora's Mask, because Ocarina of Time causes the Zelda time to, like, like split into two different sides. Or, set, I think, three. I don't know. I don't know exactly about the Zelda timeline off the top of my head, but, like, um... Yeah. There are can... Zelda games, some Zelda games are depend on a continuation on uh, which outcome in Ocarina of Time. Like Adult Link defeating Ganon, but Young Link after he gets sent back. And this game is Young Link after he gets sent back. So, um, yeah, I really think the detail they gave this game, especially with the limited amount of time they gave to complete this game. They only get, this game was only completed in 18 months. And they just reused a lot of the NPCs from Ocarina. And, like, in a way, like, I re what I really like about Majora's Mask is, is kind of how well it does connect to the... It does, it re it's really, like, well connected in terms of, like, this what happens after the events of Ocarina of Time with Young Link being set back. And, like, um... Because Link really no longer has a use in Hyrule because he's a Hylians. Because Zelda doesn't recognize Link because, basically, Link's a Hylian, so he's not the boy in Zelda's dream. And, like, um... Link's not allowed back in the Kakiri Forest because he's a Hylian. This is all what leads to the events of this game, because Link leaves Hyrule and search for Navi, because... Link, you know, in the, before I finished time, the events, Link was the only boy without a fairy, so basically, um... Yeah, the, basically what I'm trying to say is that the events of this game basically, um... Very, very much connect with one another. Now, I will say one at the back. Some of these cutscenes will not play out depending on what mash you didn't get. Like, that great fairy's mask. This doesn't play out if you never got the Romani's mask. Like, this is why when I recommend this game to people, I recommend getting all the masks so you get the best ending and view all the cutscenes. Because trust me, when I first beat this game, I did not get the best ending. But it also increases replay value. It just tells you what mash you're supposed to get, and you're kind of supposed to get the bomber's notebook that you... They recommend you get the bombers up and kind of help you on those masks. I really like, um, I really like the D, I really love, I think the thing, like, um, like I said earlier in this finale, like, the same thing people like about Majora's Mask is the same things people don't like about the game. The time limit, the, the focus on side quests and all that. I kind of understand that in retrospect. Like, I think that's kind of what makes Majora's Mask overall such a niche thing, is that it's a very unique type of Zelda. Like, there isn't any other Zelda that's really like this. That's where there's, like, no Triforce, no Ganon, no Zelda. It really, like, this game really, like, almost ditches, like, a lot of the things that, that, that like, a lot of the aspects of other Zeldas, like, story-wise... Some people might like it about Majora's Mask, other people might li not like it. Now let's get the the best cutscene, and let's just say, if you don't get all the masks, I just recommend getting the couple's mask, because this this scene never plays out if you never got the couple's mask. There's Cafe and Andrew's wedding. And with that, only one last cutscene is going to play out. This is the, uh, these are the areas you're in before the events of this game, before you're in that spiral with the Deku mask and all that. And now we see, um, now we see Link back on his horse, just going about his business. We see this Link again after this, which, um... You can kind of make it up to your own interpretation, but, like, I always got the impression that Link never found Navi after the events of this game, and I think a lot of people think the same way. Anyway, so, um... Now, one last thing is that, um... 
The only thing left is uh, this screen. And this is the, uh, the end screen. Also plays the Lost Woods music in the end. I'll see you guys later. Bye.